Next is from the same question that's 10.19. We have the next one, the 12th question, which says 2 chloropropane to 1 propanol. So here, 2 chloropropane is this where we have at the second position a chloro group, and then we have propanol, which is CH3, CH2, CH2OH. So here, to bring about this one, we need to eliminate halogen from this place and you need to introduce OH over here. It's a very simple process. So first thing what we will do is, we will take the CH3, CH, CH3 and the Cl here. First of all, we need to eliminate it. To eliminate it, we have learnt one rule to use alcoholic OH. The rule is sage zip rule. Right, so we'll use sage of rule and we'll cancel it out. So when we use that one, we will form an alkene. Alright. Now from an alkene, if you want to form the product mentioned to you in the question, your product that you're forming has to form in the end carbon. That means it has to follow an anti-Markonikov rule. So here we will follow anti-Markonikov rule with HBr and H2O2, and then you will form CH3, CH2. CH2, Br, which is a major product formed in an anti makonikovs group. Now, easy one is that Br has to replace OH. So, it's very easy. All that we have to do is just add aqueous KOH and it's going to act as a nucleophile and you will get CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So, here you will get your desired product that you want. For that, you should very well know the difference between alcoholic and aqueous KOH. When you have alcoholic KOH, the function of that KOH is acting as a base. And when you have an aqueous KOH, the function of that is to act as a nucleophile. This one difference should be known to appropriately use that reagents. Alright.